Hey, what's up guys? Everything Apple Pro here, and today I'm gonna to show you something crazy. A new bypass has been discovered, hot on the heels of the passcode bypass on 11.0.3, this one pertaining to iCloud. You can completely bypass the iCloud activation lock screen, even with, well, especially with two-factor authentication, and restore the phone, get into it, and use it permanently without the lock on it anymore. It is crazy, it is such a simple little glitch, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to do it. So this works on any iPhone as long as it's running the latest version of iOS 11, which would be 11.1. I can confirm it does work on that and it won't work on all iPhones. It has to be a clean IMEI and uh, it does have to have two-factor authentication on. So that means when uh, you do have an activation lock device and you go to activate it, it has to have this unlock with passcode little uh, button available. Otherwise, without it, it won't work. So basically, uh, how to do it is incredibly simple. All you guys need to do is go ahead and set your device up on the iCloud activation menu, uh, put in a passcode as if you were going to be activating it normally here. So uh, I'll just show you guys on an iPhone 7 and then on an iPhone 8, it is incredibly simple. Uh, basically, you go back here and you say unlock with passcode. So I'm gonna use the device passcode and you go ahead and type in all zeros. That's what works for me usually. So this one is already uh, set for the uh, bypass. I already did the steps necessary and I'll talk about those in a second. But just to show you guys, this is the wrong passcode, yet it's gonna unlock the device here in just a second. So, um, okay, it'll say wrong passcode. That's exactly what I need. And uh, basically here, Watch this, they just unlocked it in the background, even though it was wrong twice. So uh, it's gonna go ahead and unlock and allow me to bypass this completely. I don't know why this one is taking so long. Uh, I'm just gonna keep putting it in. I'm not sure what's going on here. And for whatever reason, I'm just gonna restart it. I'm not sure why that hung. I've never actually seen that before, but when I try to activate it again, and this is after putting in the wrong passcode, it should let me through here now just takes a little playing with, but I'll, I'll explain the basic steps here in a second. All it is is just restoring and trying a wrong passcode. And when I went back and tried it again, it just went through using the wrong passcode. That is just crazy. So I'll show you guys a working example again on the iPhone 8, but it just allowed me to bypass the activation lock screen with an iPhone 7 here without knowing the original passcode. That is crazy. So the way that it works, I will go ahead and describe to you, but just wanted to show you real quick uh, how it works. Basically, when you go to put in a passcode, you put in any wrong passcode, and there's a process to get this uh, to work because it doesn't work right away, but it will just let you bypass the iCloud activation menu with the wrong passcode. And it's crazy. When it works at first, I'm like, what in the world, how? How does this work? Uh, so basically, uh, I'll explain that in just a second, but let me show you first. And uh, this is what you get. So now once you get the incorrect passcode menu, you leave the phone for an hour. And when you come back to type it in again, it'll work. See you in a little bit. All right, so about an hour and a half has passed since I have last done this. Now we'll go ahead and where you left off, go ahead and put in all zeros. I don't know why, but zeros seem to work. And if this happens, it's totally fine. Just try it again. And uh, in a second here, we should be back to where we were. And it will give us an activation error usually. So unlock with passcode, use device passcode. Yeah, all zeros, just do it like this. And uh, it should give me an error here, all right. And one more, so. Go ahead and put it in slowly. And believe it or not, this usually works. So uh, there we go. We have just bypassed the activation lock passcode. It may not look like it, but there it is. I have done nothing extra. You guys saw this all on camera. You just have to give it a break about an hour. And after that, it works. So you can go ahead and begin to set up this activation lock device. And as long as it had two-factor authentication, if I go back, and back and show you guys again. I did not log in. I definitely did not put in the correct passcode, but it just let me bypass that. And no more activation lock screen. That is absolutely crazy. Uh, the fact that an exploit like this completely gets rid of iCloud. There has never been something like this, like a glitch like this that allows you to do the, all of this. Anyways, you can use the Touch ID passcode. You can use uh, your fingerprint. And I'm just gonna walk through this with you to show you guys that uh, there is no iCloud signed in on the iPhone after you complete this. 
It is really mad that this is even possible. So, okay, once I get in there, you can put in your own passcode now, and I'm gonna do one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Just gonna breeze through this real quick. Uh, no cuts, just to show you guys that it is the legit. And this is where you get to sign in with your Apple ID and make this device yours. I mean, this is dangerous. This could really have some negative consequences, uh, but this could also be useful if you guys forgot your own Apple ID or something, I don't know. Anyways, uh, Express, come on, come on. There's so many settings now. And uh, started, next. All right, finally wrapping up here. And uh, just to show you guys that I was on iOS 11.1 this entire time, so general about iOS 11.1. This exploit does work on 11.1, well, this glitch anyways, and uh, there is no Apple ID signed in here, and I can go ahead and sign in successfully. So uh, you guys are clear to go. You can use your device on iCloud. I mean, without iCloud anymore, that is just crazy. All right, guys, so there it is. Now, I've done this already many times. I know it works, it is reproducible. The key is to wait. Now, sometimes it happens that you guys get into this state uh, where it will not let you get through. It just says this over and over, but you can keep typing in the passcode. Just close the device and leave it for an hour. If an hour doesn't work, try it again and again until it works. And I know it works. It always ends up uh, working for whatever reason. This is a very interesting bug. Just typing in the wrong passcode, always gets through. So just give it time and you guys will get into this menu. So the only requirements are that you update to iOS 11.1 or force restore your device to it. And it has two factor authentication because you will not be getting this option right here for unlock with passcode if you do not have two factor authentication on the device. Uh, just an interesting glitch, a bypass that I wanted to share with you guys. It's crazy that something like this exists and for sure it'll be patched soon in 11.2, but it is working right now in 11.1, 11.0.3 and below. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Be careful guys, peace.